Hi folks, I'm going to try and make a, a pot similar to this but what I want to do is try and make this one a lot sort of try and make it more wide so it's pretty difficult because it's got a tendency to collapse because I've just made this one today and although it's not a bad shape I just want to try and make it with a really high shoulder and try and get it as wide as I can which is quite tricky but especially when you don't start off properly so we'll give it a go, it may collapse on me, in which case you won't see the video. <laughs> see so I could, like I see some people using blow torches and things to dry the pot out which strengthens it up, then you can finish off the top and things, but I don't do anything like that, so it's, it's a bit more difficult when you just try to throw it in one go. I'm trying to get a really wide top, so I'll give it a go anyway, see, see if we manage it. I've just got to, re got to remember to keep it quite thick at the top so then when I start to really collar it in it's got a bit more strength to it thick at the top so I've got a bit more clay to work with. too thin at the top so I'll keep this quite thick so I'm not going to push in as far keep it quite thick then I've got more to work in more thickness to work with just do one more lift and try and sort of widen it out a bit at the bottom as I go. Top. So I'll just collar this in a bit of now so it stops it flaring out and then we'll try and stretch it really wide and try and get the shape I'm after. And that's the sort of area, once you start stretching it out and it's nearly almost horizontal, that's the bit that's going to be weak, So, which you could blow, dry with a blowtorch but like I say I'm not doing it like that so try it this way and see how we get on anyway. Gripping a bit already inside. So. a bit too much of myself but if you don't try you never get there so 
when I wish my wheel was really slow. Like I said, that's the that's the area that's the problem. It's not collapsing yet. It's not got too thin. horizontal then, sorry, which is where it can all go a bit wrong. Pretty wide that, it's quite wide so I'm not going to try anything fancy. have a look at the shape, see if I can possibly stretch it out a little bit more, but I might be pushing the look a bit. I found this sponge, there it is. It's pretty much horizontal at the top, so there's, absolutely, there's no strength to it at all, really. I might just risk trying a little bit more, which could be the end of it. as I can make it because like I said that bit there is nearly horizontal so there's not a lot a great deal of strength left in that because it's very wet. So let's have another quick look. No I'm not happy with the top. The more you mess about the more chance you have of it just going wrong. Let's try and flap that over so it tries to match the shoulder. That'll do, I'm quite happy with that actually. I'm very pleased. Yeah, I'm pleased with that shirt, so I finally managed to do it. It looks a little different on the camera actually, it looks a little more upright than it actually is, but. Managed to get a really wide one made for once without it collapsing on me. So that's it. 